got my phone plugged in, sometimes that throws it off. So someone comment that you can hear me or you cannot hear me. I'm spraying again, final tank, sun's my eyes. Um, can you hear me? What am I doing? Unlock. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, I'm on a field of winter barley. Last field of winter. Last field of winter barley? Possibly. Can you hear me? Still haven't heard yet. It is a belter of a day. The sun's been out all day. Not too windy that I can spray. Kev's been sewing all, no, started out at lunchtime sewing. You can hear me, perfect, right. Um, yeah, Kev's, Kev's been sewing since lunchtime. Um, Dad with this kind of ahead of him, and then there's a, a fella called Jack who's helping out. He's just swapped with Dad, kind of four or five o'clock to do the disking. I'm spraying, I've been spraying all day. Last tank, and it's going, it's going great. This field is a shocker. This is our worst field um, of, of anything. Winter barley, and it just went in the day before everything turned to kaplunk. Oh, I've not paid attention. I've missed my tram line. Let's go up and down. Um, I can start the other side. Yeah, the field, I'll show you actually, it looks rough as toast. It looks better from down here. I had a drone up earlier and wow, it's not enjoyable to look at. But when you've got blue skies and sun like that, it makes up for it quite a bit. But yeah, there's not a huge lot to spray onto, is there? It's a seed crop. Seed, uh, is this field Caravel? This field's either Caravel or Tardis winter barley. There's a next door field, which is the opposite. Um, so the, the fact that it's a seed crop means we can't come in with a drill to fill in these patches and we couldn't, we can't, or we, we could plough it up but we're growing the seed for the seed merchant and it's, it's not under an official contract but we're growing it for them. It's not that bad that we plough it up anyway so yeah just a bit, yeah everyone's got these fields this year, this year unfortunately. I just need to nip down and back up because I missed my tram line because I wasn't paying attention. Nice one. Here's a view facing forward. Does this zoom out? No. Um, right, hold on. I've just got back into the field after filling up, so I need to set up a GPS and all that. Uh, that one, that one, except. That's all good. That's all good. Right. We're good now. That would be the handbrake. What's everyone saying to it? Right. Too windy for that up here in Aberdeenshire. No spray or fertiliser today. Yeah, there's been touches. It's not as... It, yesterday was a bit more windy, I would say. Um, it wasn't the best. Today, in, in, it had gusts in places. I did actually hang off for half an hour, an hour to let it settle a bit, and it did, but other than that, it's been fairly good, here's a wee wet bit we're coming up to, the wet bits are kind of fine now, there's still a bit of moisture in this wee hole, but I don't think I'll sink, oh it's a bit softer than I thought actually. We're out the other side. Where is everyone watching from tonight? Is anyone watching from a tractor? Delta. There's no normal video today. We won on Sunday again. I usually do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And one of those days I generally miss because something's going on. There's an, a huge big trench through this field. We're coming up to it here. So the water is just 
ran through this gully and cut a right track. Take care of this. Which is quite, actually quite deep. I'll jump out. It's no fun to drive through anyway. We'll need to get down here with the grubber. It's not that bad there, but yeah, it just cuts. It probably starts, you can see where it starts, just up there. It runs away down here. The deepest bit is down in that corner. It comes up to about there on my knee, just below my knee. So we'll need to come in with a grubber. It's not like we're going to be taking out any crop with one pass of the grubber, are we? There's no crop in here. What an evening! Delta. Right, let's get this finished. I've got 13 and a half hectares left to do. from Ireland, we watch all the time, thank you very much David, thank you, hello Peter, uh, hello, are your cows out yet? No, I had aspirations of getting something out today but then ended up going spraying and it never happened. I really want to get my bulls out um, and the cows out obviously but the bulls are due to kind of go to the cows just in two weeks so I kind of want them getting out into the field, getting fit and limber and moving about because not a massive pen they're in where they've just been been lying out lying down chilling out for nine months so it's not the, they're not in the best of um, fitness the, I, do, I go to a Clyde vet who I'm, we're vets with and um, they started a benchmarking group um, for beef producers and um, only been one meeting so far but you put in your data of your, your cabin figures and um, animals with certain uh, how many deaths you've had from this what how many cab ads um, scour any joint ill you basically put in all your figures each month and they'll tally it all up and they'll compare farms and we'll have a meeting and we'll, we'll compare it all and in the last meeting they were chatting away all about bulls and things like that and they said they definitely see um, better results and um, better calving results from bulls that are outwintered. They're more successful, they'll hit a higher percentage of pregnancy in cows if they've ran all winter outside because they're fitter. So to combat a bit of that, hopefully, we can get the bulls out quickly, get them move up and down. Someone told me a good tip to feed your bulls at the opposite end to where the water trough is on a hilly, hilly field if possible, which I do have. So feed them at the bottom there and they have to walk up to get their water so it just makes them work a bit. Uh, here's this bump again. Oh Jesus. What else did you go saying? Um, calving has just begun, he begun here Rufus. Where's that? Shropshire. Nice. Um, gate lady's just messing me. She's obviously seen the big rut in the field. Yes, it's just from the water. Um, why? Oh, that's hard to. 
Why do the bulls live in small pens compared to the cows? Just space per animal. Like, if, if you looked at the cow's space in their pen per head, it probably works out similar to the bulls. Um, it's just there's only one of them in there, so it's their designated space. And we've only got three bulls, so making a big, massive space for them is quite it's expensive to have space undercover and we have to make new space because we don't have other space for them. We'd have to make a covered area. Um, does anything from your college degree come in handy? Um, I could probably does. But I, for anyone who doesn't know, I did mechanical engineering at uni. Um, Gate Lady got a better degree than I did by one level, of course. Um, it was just a lot of maths, to be honest. So, does it come in handy? No, my maths is absolutely shocking. It's gone downhill since. Even doing basic sums to work out litres per hectare is hard work. Right, two seconds, I need to reverse. It, oh, it must come in handy. I'm just forgetting the reasons or scenarios where it does come in handy. I think I... What do I understand? No. It's more of a social. Uh, had any rain today? Absolutely none. Bliss. What about everyone else? Have you had rain? Um, right, okay, I've got 2,600 litres in here to cover 13 and a half hectares. My calculator's on the phone. Uh, 2,600 divided by... Someone do it. Go on. Someone put it in the comments. 2,600 divided by 100 and... No, 13.5. That's 100 and... 190 something. Someone tell me the exact number. I'm gonna go for one. 193, 194. I'll put in one. I usually cut it a bit shy. So put in 191 at the moment. Someone let me know what the, the figure is. Right, 191. PTO on. Get the revs up. It's rained all day on and off in South East England. Looks grim down there. Even when that's that's without the rain. Add the rain to it, it's even worse. 192.5. Thank you very much, Bruce. Yeah, there probably is a calculator on the screen there, but I never use it, so I don't know how to use it quickly. It's easier doing it this way. Right, we are off. 13.5 hectares. Home tea bed. Freddy is the best. Freddy is quite a good, healthy, uh, helpful helper. He's pretty dead keen on the farming anyway. Um, are you doing the Sunflower Trail this year? Yes. The, the master plan has not been thought about at all yet. I need to, I need to think about it. So year one, there was no image in it, it was just a random path. Year two, there was an outline of Scotland, which was cool. Year three, didn't do an image in it, just random, because we had the Doddy walk that year, so we had an outline of Doddy in a, in a field of rye. So this year, we need an outline in the sunflowers of something. I need ideas. Um, I have thought maybe a Highland cow, big, big horns. Any ideas, put them down below. This joystick's getting a bit loose. joystick here. It's just... Oh, there's the bump. Let me just tighten this up. It's better. This tractor's going left, right and centre. I'll show you one in the distance. I don't think I can zoom on live here, which is annoying. Don't know if you can make it out. There's a tractor up there plowing. 
sadly, same situation for us with the field they're in. They're just ploughing the end rig, but body of field similar to this, patchy and just got drowned out, unfortunately. I don't, I don't know anyone that's not got a field like that. Um, I like the Highland Cow idea. Thank you, Victoria. Turned into a grand night, um, not a cloud in the sky, mid Northumberland. Long may it last, yeah, long may it last. We're needing it. Everyone's needing it. Everyone's fed up, aren't we? Um, what about doing sunflowers in the Olympic rings of the Olympics this year? Maybe if it was in the UK. We we'll missed that, 2012. Oh, I've come too fast. If you come round the, if you turn the corner too fast on here, the, the steering axle won't steer, it just locks to straight. That's why it beeped it. Look at this entry. Grim, grim. Not much fun to look at, is it? Hopefully now, from now on, from today onwards, the drill does not stop until we're finished drilling. That would be lovely. That's generally, if we can keep the drill just going non-stop, that's what we try to do. The rest of us just work around it and keep ground ready ahead of it. What else is happening? More band of beer, it's coming. What is it? What are we in now? Giant for April. We're in April. It'll be here definitely within three months. It might be here in two weeks, it might be here, who knows? That's all I'm telling you, it's within three months. Um, don't jinx it, I know. I know I shouldn't shouldn't talk too much about all this glorious weather, it'll turn the other way. What I think is gonna happen. Because a lot of averages, we are due. I shouldn't say this, and I'm sorry if it comes through and it's not my fault. But a lot of averages, we are due a dry spell. That's what's going to happen. It'll be a dust bowl before we know it. Nothing will. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if anyone else gets this with their sprayers, but sometimes this sprayer, turn you around. Sometimes the steering all of a sudden just starts to snake a little bit. It just gets uncontrollable. I mean, I can feel it coming, and if it happens, I immediately click that button. So that locks your steering axle straight. So you bang it into straight, which is in right now. I've just clicked it because it was starting to do it a wee bit. And then you click that auto button again, and that changes to auto. And then it, it, it tracks the tracks the tractor. It's got two wee um, chains that connect to the back of the tractor. And the drawbar, as it pivots relative to the tractor, it, um, it matches that angle with the wheels on the back of the sprayer as it comes to that same position. But yeah, it snakes every so often. Um, don't know why it, it does it. Don't know if anyone else has ever had that issue. It's more rough looking around. There you go. Nice rough bit. Ah, it's not that bad. Who else is in a tractor? Anyone in a tractor wants to know. And what tractor are you, are you in if you're in a tractor? Or if you've been in a tractor today? Thinking of changing the sprayer? Yeah, we kind of looked at that for a while and then never got around to doing anything. Eventually. Eventually. We're just 
I see that's it just started sneaking again. I've blocked it back. It's a nice, it's just frustrating. Um, where's Betty? Oh, that reminds me, I need to message Dad to let Betty out. Betty is not in the tractor today, I forgot her. Good dog. Um, someone's in a Puma 240. Read these comments. Puma 240 ripping ground at the moment. Can't tell whose tractor it is beeping more at the moment. <laughs> they all beep. Uh, Ploughing in a John Deere 6155R. We had a demo of one of them once upon a time. That's a snake, and again, oh, this is not a this is not a nice bit. Water's obviously gone down these tram lines, cut a bit of a track, and then it's disappeared off there, and then it's cut back down there. Oh, flipping it! Right, I'm knocking it down a gear. For anyone wondering, I'm currently spraying at 9.8k. Uh, been in a pair of masses, carting home more wrapped bales. Uh, John Deere tractor, not got a tractor, only got a van. Uh, do you have animals, sir? Uh, we have cattle, 82 cows, uh, and then fat and stock from them, calves from them. 4,600 4, free range hens, three ewes, three too many ewes, three belted galleries, two highland cows, three highland cows, two highland cows, three highland cows. And that's it. Am I forgetting anything? John Deere 6110M, slopey bonnet. I'm not in a tractor right now, but will be in my man 4x4 lime spreader truck tomorrow, spreading fart. Good man. Righty oh, That's a wee update on what we've been doing tonight. New video will be back on Sunday morning, usually about 9 o'clock. Need to get it made. It's quite a busy one that. I've not started it. What's going on in it? Bit of fart spreading. I can't remember, you'll find out Sunday. When are you get more sheep? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully never. Right, cheerio.